Hello everybody. Today is Thursday. It's May the 20th and I couldn't be any more excited than I am about today's video because one reason is we are giving away three copies of Annie Pio's brand new freshly released book Annie's Raw Food Essentials. I have to say that I think this book is the crowning jewel of all of the books that she's written up to this point and I am so ecstatic to be able to put three copies into three lucky little Raw Food Rehab members' hands, and I know whoever wins is going to love it. Um, you already knew that I was going to give away one copy. I had announced that earlier this week, and then when Annie Pia found out that we were going to give away a copy, she has donated two additional copies, which was extremely generous. I was very excited about that, as I know you were as well. Um, but then the excitement grows, because today I found out that a long black car was approaching the gates of the raw food rehab mansion complex and that's right we now have Annie Pio as an honorary member of raw food rehab and one of the reasons that she really wanted to join our website was to be able to personally congratulate the three people who win today's copies in the drawing. So, I mean, she is really an incredible person, and I love her. She's a, a very dear friend to me, and, um, you know, just met her for the first time last year and have gotten to know her, and she's more beautiful on the inside than she is on the outside. And so it's a joy to be able to promote what she's doing. I have to tell you that I really can't think of anybody who has done more in uh, the mainstream food genre than Annie Pio than to bring raw food into that mainstream scene. I mean, her recipes have been featured in magazines like Food & Wine, um, she's been interviewed on a variety of programs. The most memorable one, I'm sure a lot of you probably have seen it, is when she was on the Travel Channel on Andrew Zimmerman's Bizarre Foods. I think that that is his name, Zimmer. I think it's Andrew Zimmer. I always want to put a Zimmerman at the end. But um, that was a great, it was one of my favorite episodes because, you know, if you've ever seen Bizarre Foods, I can't hardly watch it because, I mean, he'll eat anything. He'll eat like a raw bat or something ridiculous. I mean, it's disgusting, actually, you know, to someone who's a vegan. <laughs> but it, what cracked me up about this episode is, you know, she made this incredible raw lasagna, which he helped her make it, and he thought it was amazing. Then she made sun burgers, which he very much liked. And then at the end, she brings up the mystery shake, and he kind of freaks out on the shake because she had put durian in it. And he shares on this episode that durian is like his kryptonite. And that it, of all the foods, he just he can't tolerate. He said something like it's a, it's a combination between rotting onions and smelly gym socks or something like that. I don't remember exactly what he said. But anyway, I mean, this was a huge episode. She shared the limelight with... Um, some of you may have heard of Nobu. It's probably one of the most well-known sushi restaurants in New York City's Manhattan. And then Wolfgang Puck. Everybody's heard of Wolfgang. So Annie was right there in the middle of that episode. So she certainly has brought raw food into the mainstream. And we can thank her for that. And so to have her here at Raw Food Rehab is like, totally has made my day. I told my husband, and he's like, honey, that's better than if the President of the United States had checked in. And I'm like, absolutely so, anyway, and, you know, to carry it on this week, since I'm on an Annie roll, and since I'm, you know, singing her praises, tomorrow's episode of Foodie Friday is going to be really cool. I'm going to do three recipes that are a tribute to recipes that Annie Pio has written herself. I'm going to give a little penny twist on them just, you know, because a lot of you already have her first two books, I know. So, I'm going to add just a little tweak to at least one of the recipes anyway. And if you could smell the house right now, I'm not telling you what I'm making, but there's something in the dehydrator right now. And when I, I walked out of the house and I came back in and it's intoxicating, the smell of what is dehydrating right now. So I can't wait to share that with you in tomorrow's episode. All right. Without further ado, let's draw the winner. You know, I did things a little bit different this time. You know, normally I make a big, huge deal out about our giveaways, and I put it on the main discussion page, which is, you know, my area that I always put up the daily posts. But this time, I hid it. I wanted you to have to go on a treasure hunt 
you had to find the thread to enter the drawing. But I'm impressed we've got over 200 names in here, or right at 200. So thanks for paying attention. All of you deserve to win. Okay, who's, who's the first name? Who's the lucky one? Glenda Harris from Chicago. You won a book. I mean, very few people have this book. It just released, like, within the last week or two. I don't even think it's in stores yet. I think you can only maybe get it through Amazon. I may be wrong on that, but... Okay, who's next? Mari. Mari is a juice feasting champion right now. She is on a 92-day juice feast. You will be ready to chow down on some hardcore raw food when you're done with this juice feast. You deserve it, sister. I'm so excited. I, lo I really love giving things away. Okay, here's our last winner. Who is it going to be? Amanda Thomas in Montgomery, Alabama. Okay, guys. Three lucky winners. You can be expecting a special message from Annie Pio on your page sometime later today. I'm just thrilled. But you know, the good times are still going on because next Monday, we're going to be giving away a $50 gift certificate to Raw Food World. So if you didn't win today, don't stress out. You know I'm always giving things away around here. It's my pleasure to do that. I want to get as much raw food goodness into your hands as I possibly can. I love you. Tune in tomorrow for Foodie Friday. We're going to do a tribute to Annie Pio. Love you. Bye.